Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, March 27th, 2021, week number... 121. <laughs> I've had welcome. coffee, so I'm on it today. <laughs> You're on it? I'm on it. I wasn't sure if I was going to have to help you. Nope, not today. Not today. I've been up for hours waiting for Stacy. so... <sighs> yeah. So, hey, let's get into our weights real quick, and we got a few things to talk about. Kind of a serious week this week. Well, it's been for a couple weeks, and we're going to spill the beans a little bit today. So last week, I was 335.2, and this morning, I was 335.0. So I am down 0.2. Uh, I will take that as a huge victory because we have just been going through a lot of stuff lately, and I have not been sleeping, and there's been a lot of other things going on. So um, I'm going to take it and run with it and be very thankful and happy for it. Yeah. Yeah. So where are you at, Stacey? Last week I waited at 141.4, and this morning I waited at 142. 142. So I'm up point, uh, point six. six. Yeah, point six. Okay. So, um, yeah. So uh, there's not been a lot of focus on the keto, and there's not been a lot of, um, I wouldn't say discipline, because I haven't really gone off the rails or anything. Right. Just been a lot of other stressors and things that have been going on in our life. And um, I'll let Stacy share what she wants to share of that, and uh, we'll go forward from there. So we were supposed to be on vacation last week. Well, we were on vacation last we week. Sort of were on vacation. And, uh, yeah. We so, planned it for a few months. Yes, we did. I had an annual checkup. Um, Just before we left. Yep, the Tuesday before we left, and they found uh, some polyps, and... So that I need to get them removed right away. Ended up uh, there, so I called the gynecologist's office, and they scheduled me for a Monday. We were started our vacation on Friday. Yeah, we were on vacation basically, but um, she drove back. I to drove do back that. home um, to go to the gynecologist on Monday. And With the was, intention of getting it clipped yeah. out, biopsied, go from there. Correct. It was supposed to be clipped and biopsied and. They said simple procedure, and um, so my family doctors, who I normally go to because I normally clear pap smears, everything's good. Yeah. Um, the gynecologist could not remove it. She was not sure exactly where it was coming from and how long, big it was. Um, it was, um, it was very large and yep, very so detailed. Large, um, and she's like, I don't know if it's coming from the cervix or the uterus. So I had to stay home, and she got me in on Wednesday morning for an ultrasound. Um, and on Monday, she said she would have to surgically remove it. So Because of the depth and the right. size and the location being Correct. deeper. And they needed to find out exactly where um, it was Origin. attached to because they couldn't right. see it. They are normally it's something they can just take care of in the office, no problem. Um, there was some concern there. Uh, and she did recommend that I do cancer screening. Yeah, some genetic screening. Um, I think that's good for the girls and stuff, though, too, to know if there were some other things that could be involved and that they need to keep watching for at a younger age, maybe, you know. So not that you're old or anything. Just, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, so our whole week of vacation, basically, I sat at a little resort a couple hours away majority of that time by myself. I worked on some websites that I have. Um, I'm changing over platforms and software, which is all boring, so I won't get into that. But uh, I worked on some of that, so I was productive. Uh, I was very bored, obviously. Each day I went for a walk. I, I would make like my day purposefully like, hey, I got garbage. I'm going to take it to the dumpster. <laughs> so, you know, it's like a quarter mile walk, you know, just to get out and keep moving and stay active. They had full fitness center, pools, and all that stuff, but it's all closed for COVID. Right. Couldn't take a shower. You couldn't work out. Um, yeah, so it was kind of like, well, I guess I'm just going to hang out here, work on the websites, uh, watch a little TV, which I did a little downtime. Um, tried to stay productive and positive because sometimes when your mind is rambling, <laughs> you know, or, or, or restless, you can get worried about things more than you right. need to. Right. So at this point, we're in kind of a holding pattern have not been sleeping um, even pri prior to this, but it's been a rough week, definitely. And now we're in a waiting game because yeah. uh, we, now we've got the ultrasound done and a surgery scheduled for April? April, yep. 7th? April 7th. Um, yeah, so. 
put that in your little prayer book if you have the inclination to do so. We appreciate it. Yeah. And then after that, we wait for what they've taken out to right. be biopsied, correct? Correct. My and then I have to schedule a colonoscopy as well. Yeah, um, definitely important. Just to confirm that there's no other, you know, it's... Polyps or growths or whatever. Yeah, you know, typically polyps are benign, I think is what the word is. Um, yeah, that's what we're hoping for. So, and that's what we're <laughs> hoping for. Um, yeah. But because they couldn't find out how... It was connected and it was, it was too large. And said. it was large um, versus, you know, the smaller. Yeah, you um, might even be looking at a cluster of a few things connected at the base, is the way that I was understanding right. it. It's, so, ladies, I'm sure you can feel for me when you get down there and it's like scooch to the end of the table and you're like, okay, like a little more. And you're like, okay. And then a little pressure. And then the first thing was, whoa. <laughs> whoa, what? <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like, uh, whoa. That's not what you want to hear when they're in your nether regions. Um, so we're trying to keep humor about it. Um, and then obviously, well, you know, I haven't positive. slept super, super well. And then Julia did come home with me and went to school for two of the days since I had to be here anyway. And, yeah, I figured um, get her back in school at least versus missing the days of being on vacation. Yeah. So that's a positive for her. And I'll be honest with you, Bill is my, he's my ears for me. So yeah. when he's not home... And I take my hearing aids out, obviously, to go to sleep at night. I always worry I'm not going to hear if something happens. Bill's are usually right there with me, so. Yeah. So I'm like, what was, that? <laughs> what was that? Get the baseball bat. <laughs> I don't have a golf club because I don't golf. We live on a golf course, <laughs> but I don't golf. Yeah. This those... is the second golf course we've lived on without golfing. So if I need a spider killed, there's my girl. Oh, you know what? Here's something kind of fun. I should have should have brought the fun stuff up before the heavy stuff. But um, yeah, keep us in your prayers and just understand that, you know, sometimes life throws things at you that uh, supersede things like keto and stuff. And uh, But I do want to do the updates for everybody and everybody know where we're at. Uh, we just got a lot going on. Uh, I did get the garage door fixed. Yes. And everybody on Facebook told me don't mess with it because of the springs were broken. And... Um, they were saying that it's very powerful springs and it could get you really hurt and you could end up dying or having massive stitches. I've heard anywhere from you know, 20 to 75 stitches. So from... normally I'm a DIY guy and I'll watch YouTube or whatever and fix it myself. On this one, I, I sat out. I, I paid the money. I had the garage door guys come. It took them maybe 30 minutes yeah. and our garage door is working again. So I'm very thankful for that. And when they pop the spring that wasn't sprung, Holy yeah, the whole house shook. Was, yeah, it was that crazy. That was scary. So and, I'm glad we didn't do it. And um, Stacy had opened up, there was some kind of deal or promo or something for Amazon. She had gotten an email, imagine that. And she opened up her own little Amazon account. Well, I wasn't aware of that. That was uh, November-ish, mm -hmm. October, November. And um, I had had some things on a little wish list that I wanted and uh, that we share personally with family and stuff. And uh, this was before COVID, all yep. that junk, before all that stuff. Anyway, we were talking about going on vacations and we tend to do a lot of little mini vacations and I wanted a carry-on, but I didn't want a regular carry-on like everybody else's carry-on. I wanted a special one. So I had put in my list a Stormtrooper. It's a Star Wars Stormtrooper small carry-on. And um, I forgot all about it. We never did. And then... All the strangers of the world came, so ideas of vacations kind of went away. And uh, Stacy had put it into her personal little list and was kind of just watching it. And I didn't even have it in my list anymore because I was just like, I guess we're not going anywhere <laughs> doing anything. <clears throat> Long story short, Stacy had seen a, a open box deal, like mm -hmm. where somebody had a scuff on it or something, you know, and, and it was substantially less, like seventy percent off. So she's like, well, it's Amazon, and if comes and it's messed up, we're just going to send it back anyway. So um, she ordered it up and it came and she surprised me with that yesterday. So uh, here's a little video clip of that surprise little thing. <laughs> so Amazon just left a package for Bill. Normally he's the one who does the shopping, but today I'm surprising him with something. Hey, honey. Bill?
Can you come up here for a second? Okay. <laughs> I saw the light flicker and I was feeding the fish. <laughs> What's Can up? you go to the door? I have a package that I can't carry in. Oh, okay. I swear I didn't order anything. <laughs> I know. I ordered something. Oh, okay. It's a surprise. It's something you've been wanting for a long time. Supplies? Did you say Chinese supplies? Yeah. Oh. Sorry, my hip is bugging me. Oh. <sighs> don't, don't, don't read the package. Just open it. Just open it. Okay. Is it even lost? <laughs> yes. Oh, I don't even know my own strength. I learned how to shop on Amazon. Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> I can see it. What is it? <laughs> it's a stormtrooper. <laughs> this is, uh, this is, so. Uh, He's tongue-tied. Um, yeah. That's, I... It's been a long time that I wanted this, and then that was last year. Yes, I tried to get it, tried to get it, and uh, yeah. we finally found a great deal on it, and um, I knew I had and to you, have it. You got it on Amazon? I got it on Amazon. Because it was uh, not available. I know, I'm special. And then, yeah, I don't know how you open <laughs> the handle and stuff. Oh, you push the button. He's your friend. Oh, yeah, this is a, a carry-on so that <laughs> I could do carry I, I, I don't like to check my luggage. Like to carry my luggage. Yes. So I wanted a, a carry on, and this was when we were gonna do our cruise and stuff. Yes. But um, look how cute he is. He's he's adorable. He's Are you gonna name him? him? Um, I don't know what, but <laughs> yeah, he's a stormtrooper. Do you like Thank it? You. No, I really like it. I I just uh, I'm a little surprised to see this come in the mail here because I just. I don't know, with the la the way the last year's gone, I just hadn't even really thought about trying to go somewhere, but we have a lot of adventures to go on, and I could take him on adventures, right? You can. I'm so glad you like him. Uh, no, I really like it, and I wanted to do... Oh, movies. that's a little luggage tag. Yeah, you got a little uh, American Tourister luggage thing. Put your name and your stuff in there. Pretty cool. <laughs> a little Star Wars. A little Star Wars thing going on there. Bill normally is the one surprising me with things. Oh, yeah. So I'm happy that uh, well, I opened take, my own Amazon account, but don't tell Bill. We can take the tags off because we don't need tags on this thing, except for that tag. No, this is awesome. So you, um, so they finally came back in or something. Huh? Yeah. All right. Well, this is cool. Because this is like right up my alley. And this was identifying my luggage. That's and they're going to see a six foot six guy. That's right. Rolling down this luggage. With my little stormtrooper. <laughs> my little buddy. Not an even stormy. Well, thank you. You're most this welcome. This is a really nice surprise. Well, you can take your little stormy and your adventures. Oh, that's why you didn't want me to read it, because it said American Tourist. Or not. Exactly. That it was uh, something from Amazon that was from American Tourist. Or. I still probably wouldn't have got it, because it just, it's been kind of out of mind for a yeah, and normally you're the one who does all the ordering. And I opened yeah. up my own Amazon account so he wouldn't be able to see that I ordered it off of his Amazon account. I had this in my Amazon wish list thing for four or five months. But I then, know. But then when all the craziness of the world started happening, um, I just kind of forgot about traveling. And uh, now we're doing our little traveling. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it might be kind of handy to have for that. And then if... Um, the world gets back to normal. I'll have my own little suitcase now. <laughs> it's adorable. Did you see the little, the little, uh, the little tie things on the no, little? Let me see on the little zippers. Fancy, fancy. <laughs> Very cool. I love it. All yeah, right. It. It's like a late Christmas present. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, I was very happy. Very excited. And uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Now, now have, I'm ready. Now we have to, to go travel on another adventure. We have to go on an adventure or a vacation where I can use my little stormtrooper guy. He's sitting over here to the side, but you'll see him in the video. He doesn't want to put him away. I literally haven't put it away. It's just sitting in the living room, just hanging out with us. It's so awesome. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you for getting it and thinking of it. <laughs> You're welcome. And Stacy doesn't know, but I did. Um, 
if you follow our SB channel, the uh, Stacy Bills Adventures, uh, we had just recently gotten a um, a Max oven, a Hot Logic Max oven, and it's a large one, and you could put two dishes in it, two eight by sixes, and uh, she kind of wanted to have one for work, to have to take a small thing, plug it in at work, and have a nice hot meal, and uh, I had found again somebody had had one on open box on Amazon. It was super cheap. And I'm like, well, again, we'll get it. We'll look at it. If it's gross, we'll send it back. It works perfect. It looks brand new. I couldn't even tell you why it was on an open box. Somebody got it, didn't like it, returned it. You didn't show me. So it's sitting right there, right next to your hand cream there. Oh. So I got a little mini for her so that she could do that. And then maybe I'll even take that on adventures with us if you want just a single meal. Because it's much smaller. It only holds a eight by six. Yeah. But that's more of a, a lunch tote okay. size yeah. instead of that big, you don't need a casserole oven thing for no, work. work. Yeah. No. So, so yeah, I got that for her <clears throat> and uh, saw it on a, a great little savings deal for being an open box. Figure we could wipe it out, clean it out, but it right. looks, it looks like nobody even used it. I don't, the plastic's still on it and everything. So I don't know. Very happy with that. Thank you. You're very How welcome. Did you get me? It's black because I didn't have a choice. It was, that was purple. the well. We'll watch for a purple one, and okay. I'll take the black one. Okay. But they're really <laughs> fun guys. I mean, that's just so cool. And then, like, you plug it in, and two hours later, your full meal, whatever you've had, or if you want to cook it from raw, like two and a half to four, two and a half to three hours. Yeah. We'll cook like a raw chicken breast. Totally. Yeah, it gets up to one hundred and sixty-five degrees. Yeah, it's it's very very cool, very neat for travel yeah. or for Hats. lunches. For your lunches so we're real excited about that and when i saw that come up on amazon i'm like yep we gotta get a mini gotta get the mini it's hot and that cool it's hot logic <laughs> yeah so no, we're, we're really enjoying that so I, I picked another one of those up for us so that we have the mini cool and you could use it for now until a purple one comes in as an open box or maybe i'll splurge and just buy it like the real thing no, we're instead of I can use no, the black one. Yeah, well, it was like almost half off. So yeah, it's like let's give it a try. And if again, being Amazon, if it comes and it's not right, you just send it back. They're gonna ban me. <laughs> no, most of the time when we open when we get something open box on Amazon, it's totally fine. I don't yeah. even know why they returned it, but you save a lot of money. You save money by spending money. That doesn't sound right. No. Hmm. <laughs> well guys we're gonna head off for the day we actually have some projects going um there is one thing i want to do keto wise and i don't know if it's going to work out so we're going to try it at home first there's a, a show called fast foodies and one of the sandwiches that stacy always loved was the wendy's spicy chicken sandwich and recently one of their episodes was about the wendy's spicy chicken sandwich kind of recreating it and uh kind of got some ideas and, and of course, in my keto mind, I'm thinking, what can we do to alter this to make it more friendly for us? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to put some things on paper. I'm not even going to let Stacy let her see what I'm doing <laughs> because then she'll get like grossed or freaked out by it. And then I'm going to bash up some chicken breast for you and uh, marinate it, you know, and do the flouring and all the other stuff with the almond flour instead. And uh, I'm going to try it, and it might not turn out. And if that's the case, I'll just share that fact that it didn't turn out. But if it turns out and it tastes good... He's going to make a video. I'm going to make a video of it. Yeah. So you have to put up with me. And I promise I'll actually give measurements because I don't <laughs> measure stuff. But I'll try to do that for this so that if someone wanted to replicate right. it, they could at least see. So that's what we're going to work on at some point this week. I'm going to be doing that. I have the chicken thawing right now. And I'm going to do mine on chicken thigh, and I'm going to do Stacy's on chicken breast because she doesn't like the thighs. No. I prefer the dark meat. I put darky. I like the darkies. Anyway, and we're also looking forward to, we have some family coming up. His sister's going to come up this week. Yeah, I'm going to um, take a little break, have my yeah. cousins come up and uh, my sister come up and visit for a little bit. So, um, yeah. But I'm hoping to try that chicken thing probably tomorrow, I'm thinking Sunday. If the chicken's thawed enough, to beat it up and and do all the little rolling and flowing. And I'm just going to do two. I'm going to try them. And if it doesn't turn out, then I tried. Oh, that's good. But I'm excited to try that for you. And we'll use like the Nature Ovens uh, carb 
bun. So you yeah. actually have a real bun sandwich. And uh, give it a try. Sounds good. Stacy's been loving the Aunt Millie's one carb bread. Yes. Yes. That's uh, Aunt Millie's is the maker. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Aunt Millie's one carb smart bread or something they, they, yeah. they call it. We were just at Meyer yesterday and they had some and we grabbed a couple loaves, put them in the freezer so we could just pull them out so she can make dipping eggs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dipping eggs. Yeah. So um, we got a couple of those things going on. We are working feverishly on our van to get it ready because I have a trip coming up in April. I'll yeah. be going down to Mississippi for a blues festival, see my brother play and see Kingfish. I don't know if any of you know who Kingfish <laughs> is. Go on YouTube and just type in Kingfish and blues. And you'll see what I'm talking about. This kid rocks. Can't wait to go see him too. So uh, I've got a little trip coming up. So I've got to get this van done. Yeah. Uh, try to make it into a little camper. Put all the necessities that I'll need for sleeping and eating and all those fun things. And uh, we're going to do a video on that too. Our no build build of yeah. Yeah. turning the everyday minivan into a camper for little trips like that. Purposefully. So yeah. So watch out for that too on the other channel if you're into that sort of thing <laughs> so all right guys have a wonderful saturday and a great weekend and i hope that wherever you're at on your personal journey that you're doing well and staying positive thanks for joining us take care bye, bye.